What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Ah. I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. I think it's gone. Say so. Somebody wants yeah. to be handicapped. You can't mess with your prayers. I'm a lover, not a fighter. No way is right, Jingle. I hope Dr. Travel. Bullworth Prefect, halt immediately! What if I start a ruler? Princess? I swear I'll get that down! Your butt is mine! Yo, mama! That's fine. I don't care, really. You can do your best, but I will hey, defeat you! Get your hands off them! You forced me to do this, and you will regret it! Ready to go to sleep, up, Sarai! I hope so, for your sake! Kick his knees in! You can run, but you cannot hide! If I don't get that A, my mom... Hopkins, you may Speaking not, my I repeat, may not go there! Books this year. Sounds great. Oh, oh. Didn't have to come to this, but you crossed my mind. Don't speak. You ain't worth <laughs> I am so melancholy. Hello there, ma'am. Ah, yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy. Or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster. And I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you.
So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. Yep, time for a beatdown! Get the new kid! Beat him down! Oh! Oh, he's getting beat! That's wicked! Go! 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 Ha ha, yeah! Take him to hell! Ha ha ha! Do you like a little school spirit? I ain't gonna forget! I never forget! I'll get you back in front of the whole school! <laughs> You're dead, new kid! Dead! Hey! You! Break it up! That's enough of that! Break it up! Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Go change immediately! Ah, oh, come on. Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah, what's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse I me. I said relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're going to need friends. So it's up to you. You're going to play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? <laughs> What can go We don't have a bar in the door. Just a soda machine. Nice! You should probably change into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent, because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. 
Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Oh no, not again! Hey, Jimmy! Let me show you around this prison. That's Russell's locker. You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. You like to eat fish? Come on, we don't have to fight. Time to pay your Russell tax! Anything. Puny ant! Kneel before Russell! Next time you give more doofus! Come on! Let's break into it and steal something. That'll teach him. Careful around the prefects, they don't have much of a sense of humor. Well done! Now I'm going to have to punish you! Ha <laughs> ha! What a lightweight! RPG. Hey, your grandpa died. Save it for someone. Yeah. Oh, careful, idiot.
feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over the You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. What are you doing in here? Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Good work. You have a future in chemistry. Hmm, very good. Carry on. Excellent work today, Mr. Hopkins. Hopkins is dominating! You can count on Jimmy. You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense! That's just school spirit. Hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not. Ow! <laughs> come here, you little. Yeah, come and get me. Ha ha ha! What you gonna do? You're really gonna get it now! Don't look at me! You're horrible! I saw him. He ran towards the fountain. I'm out of here! I'll get him! Show you the world. Get the new kid. Beat him down. Hey guys, let's teach this new kid a lesson. Hey, see this? Eat it. Funny, you don't look so tough now. Ah! Okay, now we're talking. Hey! Stay away from me! That wasn't funny. Whoa! All right. I think that hero Jimmy is a real You really want to start something? Stop destroying you. Calm down, dude. It's cool. It's
it's me! Let's talk it out! Don't be stupid! Mr. Number One on the way sure he was just kidding when he called me annoying. I don't want any trouble, okay? You're such a bully! I... I hope Dr. Cram... You know you look silly like that, don't you? You just bumped into me! I have to go help... What do you think you're doing? So that's a good idea, right? Yeah, okay, <laughs> alright, sure, I'll do it. <sighs> Hey man, what's going on? Not much. I was just telling Petey here about my idea to take over the school. I mean, my plan for us to take over the school. What plan? Don't worry, Jimmy. It's just a little something I came up with. It's sink or swim, my friend. And if you're good at swimming, you gotta let the losers drown. Why don't you guys leave the thinking up to me? What? What? What, what the? Can't you say anything else? <laughs> you know what, Petey? You were right. Jimmy is pretty dumb. What'd you say about me? Oh, nothing. No, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools, that's all. <laughs> Relax, James. All he said was that you must be dumb. Or maybe you're all messed up because you came from a broken home. What'd you say about me, dwarf? Come on, dude. Chill. No, 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 no. Gary's taking everything out of context, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't lie, Petey. Don't you lie, because you know what happens to liars? No, no, I'm not lying. We kick them in the balls! <laughs> oh. 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 Come on, Jimmy, let's go see how good you are with this oh. new slingshot I heard you had. Don't worry, friend, nothing escapes my notice. I hear everything. You and me, we can do things. I got no tolerance for school I'm shippers. sure he was just kidding when he called me annoying. Get down on the... Some new guy's trying to... Hey, see if you can knock out the windows in that bus. <laughs> I want Come on, let's go to the football field. Truth 
disruptive to the bulwark order. Go on, Petey. Go cry to the teacher. Tell them I was nasty to you. Shut up, Gary. You're such a jerk, man. Oh, am I, Petey? Oh, you're so cutting. I'm really upset. Actually, I think I'm gonna go cry. Then I'd be just like you. Cry, little girl. Oh, look out. <laughs> Here comes Jimmy. Just knock it off, Gary. You're out of line. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was hanging out in the girls' dorm. Silly me. Shut up, man. You're boring. Boring? I'm boring. You're none too interesting yourself, friend. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, both of you. I apologize, okay? I just get a little overexcited. Forgive me. Forget it. It's cool. Anyway, I've got a good idea for some fun. Let's go out and torment someone really helpless and unfortunate. That homeless guy. <laughs> come on. You coming, little Petey? Come on, I'm sorry. I'll give you a kiss if that's what you want. Shut up. Then come on. Friends are this is gonna be fun! You're mine now! I sure hope nobody hears you. You're not the victim for once. Where is this dirty old perv? You know, you're not very nice, Gary. And you're a loser, Petey. One of life's unfortunates. Get out of here, you little scum! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the rumors are true, Jimmy. Your dad does live on Shut campus. Up. You jerk! Ow! Let's leave this guy to his welfare payments. Come on, let's get out of here. Just get out of here, kid. Why should I? Because otherwise I'll kill you. What's your problem? <laughs> That's a long story. You got any liquor? No, I'm 15. Well, what about drugs? No. Then why shouldn't I kill you? All right then, tough guy, kill me. <laughs> you know what, kid? I like your style. You got guts. When I was on that ridge in Korea, watching my buddies get killed by friendly fire, I could have used somebody like you. Yeah? Thanks. But I bet you can't fight. You do me a favor, and I'll show you some real moves. Classified moves. Real special army stuff. Cool. Just get me a part for my radio, and I'll show you what the army taught me. What, like how to get shot by your own side? Exactly. What does this world come to when no one respects the priest? Tired of all these poor folks around. Score! I 
I was just looking for one of those. Thanks, kid. You're one of the good ones. I learned this one from this crazy guy I served with. Yeah, okay, he was my brother. You're getting better! That's a killer instinct. Come on in, come Good on. work. Now go out there and kick some ass. Don't forget to bring me a transistor when you come back. That was easy. I'm gaining on you and it's only a matter of time now. Know any sign language? Do you know how you speak? Lola doesn't wear underwear. <laughs> hey, you. Like. You're the new kid, huh? Everyone is talking about you. Oh, are they? And what are they saying? Uh, nothing. Just that you're friends with that sociopath, Gary. Socio what? Sociopath. It means... Never mind. Forget I said anything. I need you to help me. Wait. You need me to help you? I've got some library books that need to be returned, but I'm too scared to go to my locker. Do I look like a librarian? No, listen. I need your help. Pretend we're friends. Walk with me. I'll pay. <laughs> I'll pay you two bucks. Two bucks? Are you crazy? Make it five. No. Two bucks? Great. Five bucks. Let's go, buddy. I've been thinking a lot about snails recently. They're slimy. Do you really have to pee when you get nervous? Yeah, I was. I'm not going to stand by it. Help me, guys! You wanna play games? Make it painful! I'm not going with someone slimy! You better run! Hello! Well, what's going on here? Oh, no! What is this? This is real! Are you hurting yet? <laughs> Stop tickling me and I'll show you. He did hear so much. Cover me. I'm going in. Hey, were there two people hey. in that stall? Trench just said they went into the. No more. <laughs> Move it. I'll break every bone in your scrawny little body, chump. Bullworth is mean.
I said I'd do it. I think I broke his leg. You ever <laughs> play? I better make. You think I'm? Jimmy, we gotta do this. Well, okay. Thanks. You'll have to try harder than that. Much obliged. Done and done right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Get out! Stop, Gary. <laughs> I'm trying to watch this. Ah, swim team! Intellectual stuff. So, tell me, Petey, do you Come like on. watching the girls in their swimming costumes? Does get that fuel your filthy little fantasies? Gary, just get out of the way. Oh, Marion, show me your breaststroke again. Or... Wait, do you like the boys on the team? Yeah, right, Gary. Which is it, Petey? I see you guys are getting along as usual. I'm just toughening him up. Ow. Turning him into a man or a woman or something. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Petey. Ah, peace stain. Good to see you. Listen, Jimmy, I need a favor. Bucky went to the auto shop to get some parts for his science projects. He hasn't come back yet. I think he might be in trouble. Please? Why don't you go yourself? I've got homework. <laughs> okay, I'm frightened. And I've got a weak bladder. Oh, I think the bullies might have gotten him. Please, I'll pay. I say do it. It's a good chance to show Russell who's in charge around here. Now run along, Ow! P. Stain, before you mark the carpet. Yes. We've got to take care of Russell and his boys. Then, after that, take care of all the other cliques. Soon, this school will be ours. I don't want the school. Yeah, well, I do, pal, and I intend to get it. Now go help that door. And what are you gonna do? I've got planning to do. Knock it off. <laughs> Sorry. Boop. Stop. Uh, Sorry. Oh, what are you, a wimp, Bucky? We're buddies, what's the deal? I love beating you up, Bucky.
Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that out. Stop, Gary. <laughs> I'm trying to watch this. Bucky, fight back! Oh, so you're gonna start fighting? Check this out! Let's get down to business. Bucky, you're pathetic! Get closer! Nice to know there's a violent, crazy old man on campus. Thanks, Timmy. That's great. Here, take this. And that's that. Can you help I me? I said please? I could beat up.
Give it back. Or what? Or, well, just give it back. Are you threatening uh, me, Metal Mouth? No, I just, just give it back. You can't just steal things from me. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, my pig ugly friend, that is exactly what I can do. In fact, I can do anything I like in this place. Anything at all. Chow spotty. Give it back. And you should stay out of the girl's dorm, you little perv. Ugh, I see you undressing me with your eyes. Sicko. You wish. Please, will you help me? Do I have to? Yes, it's vital. She's stolen my lab notes. Without them, I'm gonna fail chemistry and... Hey, Gary. I need to get something from Mandy's locker. I'm not surprised. You know, you should put a stink bomb in there. It'd be funny. Get one from Fatty. He knows everything about stinking. You forced me to do this, and you...
Here you go. Oh, Jimmy, thank you. You're wonderful. Hey. Thank you for being my partner for this uh, project. Hopkins comes through. Cut sleep to 4.5 hours a night. Sleep to 35 hours a week. Okay, people. I want to see your butts in those seats. I told you I'd bring you down! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Miss Phillips, and it is my pleasure to induct you into the world of arts. Such passion in your work, Jim. Very moving. Looking good today. Oh, hi! <laughs> I hope you think this is okay. Oh, Jimmy, that's so nice of you. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> You're so bad! It was easy! I always knew I could do it. I've got you in my sight. I've been wanting to do that. Move, nerd! Oh. <laughs> How original! <laughs> Call me a nerd! What next? Four eyes? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt All me! Alright, you oh. ass boy! Hey, what's this? <laughs> class... Press... Den. Class president, dummy! It says class president! I know. That's you? I'm the most suitable candidate I know! <laughs> yeah, and so's your mom! <laughs> yeah, right! <laughs> Don't forget to wipe! <laughs> How's the campaign, Ernest? You'll vote for me, won't you? Yeah, not a chance. What if I pay you? Pay me? Now you're talking. I always knew I was a born leader. <laughs> yeah, but unless you buy everyone's vote, you're never gonna win. Because they are definitely gonna ruin your speech at the debate. Oh, unless I had a security manager. Oh, oh, please, 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 I don't please, know. Security please, managers, they please. cost a lot of money. Oh, I have money. I can pay you. Good. I've always been a politician at heart. I hear that new kid, Jimmy. Thank mm -hmm. you.
welcome. I won't mince words, my friends. This school needs help. My help. How many of you out there feel abused by society? Let down by the establishment. Loser! Brutalized! I feel your I'll pain, you, my children. Teach your pet. Do not despair. Salvation is here, my friends. You want me to beat on you? By choosing me as your leader. Careful, wimp. We will usher in a new era of education. Excellent Abusive prefects, gone. Scrawny little puke. Lackluster teaching! Gone! You couldn't beat a fly! Physical education! Gone! Yeah, I heard you like art class, you fruit! Bluebird will be the model for a pure academic Did curriculum. I you drink? Money no longer wasted on silly musicals or crafts. I'm with you, so on artist! This. Ouch! Not right! That sports Dumb are more meaningful for your future than decent Pansy. textbooks and competent teachers. Ernest, you're a dork! What have sports your done for you done. except cause pain Holy and God. misery? While my opponent try? may also be more popular. What's up, maggot? Good-looking and muscular. What you looking at, huh? And have the attention of the school bimbos. He just doesn't have what it takes to be president. Kick your ass! Hey, you suck! Some of you claim I don't represent the masses. I'm gonna make you swallow this. Let me tell you. You suck! I've been beat up just as much as you. Ouch! This is intolerable! Not good enough! A vote for Ernest means a vote for... The triumph of brains! Ow! In closing, remember, a vote for E... means a vote for me. Thank you, everyone. Good night. I think we can call that a wrap. in your closet. Put it on. Hey, what's going on? Not much. I was just lying here wishing I could be more like you. Yeah, whatever. But I'm cursed. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, cursed by brains. Do you know what torture it is to be thinking all the time? No, of course you don't. Yeah, you're cursed. You're great. Whatever. What else is going on? Not much. Let me see. Uh, it's Halloween. All the prefects are at some party and the teachers are entertaining. I use that word loosely. The kids. No, I'd say the opportunities for fun are pretty much nil. What do you have in mind? Come on. You'll see. Let's go get Pete. I got him a real nice Thanks. costume. I look like a jerk. Now you're gonna feel the no, rats. No, you look with fine. Don't be a baby. Russell, no, no, I look like a jerk. Come on now. Don't be scared. Destroy. 
You ain't even understand what I'm gonna do to you. Don't push All right, me. I'll do it. Oh, thank Look out. you. I don't see why I haven't. You really. Hey, Jimmy. Think you can help me out? Ah! Jimmy, please! I always do my work. I really yeah, need okay. you to help me, man. Thanks a lot. Someone keep... Could you help me, okay. Jimmy? Please? Sure thing. Do you think you might help me out with something? Some. Back off! I'm Careful now, you might hurt yourself! Oh, yeah. ah! Ah! <laughs> Another job well done. Okay, here's the deal. We're gonna feed Chad's dog some of this rancid meat. Wait for him to take a dump, what, and then... What the hell? I'm out of here. Whatever, Pete. Okay, let's do this, Jim. I'll explain the rest later. Get over here, you little mutt! What are you doing to Chester? Here you go, boy. How about a little trick for a treat? Yum, 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 yum. That's gross. Score. All right, let's go to the teacher's lounge. You lead on. You ever sneak out at night? Don't worry, it'll be funny. What the oh, devil is going on out here? Oh, God damn it! It's a nice one, Jimmy. My work here is done.
You ever wake Shut up, up on a football field in your underwear? underwear? <laughs> there you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture. And you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger picture? I'm, uh, we are gonna take over this school. We are not taking over anything right now. Time and tide wait for no man, my friend. But it seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me, look, now come on. I promise you, after this, things are never gonna be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, right. Whatever you say, Gary. Right, Jimmy? Stay closer! Four. Not here, follow me. We can't get in there. How can we get at the switch? Not here, follow me. Now here's another switch I used to... Hi, flyers! Hmm. Looks like I'll have to hold this down to get the power while you climb through and get it Sweet! Almost there! Huh. A steam leak! I've heard of those happening, but I've never seen one. Could lower the furnace temperature a bit. I bet the steam would stop. What have we here? If you could lower the furnace temperature a bit, I bet the steam would stop. <laughs> Quick, before it heats up again. Jimmy boy, here we are, the hole. The place where this school separates the men from the boys. The wheat from the chaff and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? 
This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school? I want to run this school. Only one of us is going to make it. And it's going to be me! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell. Gary, now I hate you. I know. Russell. Go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard uh, animals. What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance. <laughs> you is dead. You happy now, jerk? Ecstatic! I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No. I'm taking over this school. And you're just a liability. See you around, moron! Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? No, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bad Russell. With Russell pacified, I could be forgiven for thinking my troubles at Bullworth were over. But this place is a rotten onion. Peel off one stinking layer, and there's another even smellier one beneath. Well, Jimmy, word on the street is you're something of a pugilist. No, sir. I never pugilized in my life. Really? And that you've been saying some entertaining things about me and some barnyard animals? No, I never said that. Well, I listen to things, Hopkins. You try and stay out of trouble. Now go see the cook down in the kitchen. Helping her might teach you some humility. Okay, sir. Hey, new kid. You're that guy that beat up Russell. So? What's it to you? Hey, listen, we like to box, the noble art and all that. Why don't you come down by our gym in old Bullworth Vale? We should definitely hang out. Yeah, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Why are boys... Hi! I've 
team fillets with Mark. Nice! Ah, shut up, kid! It adds flavor to it! Uh, you wanna give it a go? Sure. Achoo. Achoo. Try and get some bits in it! I've got performance anxiety! <laughs> get used to it, kid! You're a man! It's all downhill from here, my friend! Anyway, what do you want? Nothing. The head sent me. He did? Oh, yeah! I need you to go to town and pick up some meat and other things for me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put one of Ms. Phillips' cats in the casserole again. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me see. I need some meat from Yum Yum Market. Oh, and a razor from the barbers for my stash. And, um, oh yeah, some new knickers from Worn In. I've had these on since last term. <laughs> uh, hurry up! Go, take my bike. It's that fine machine out there by the school gates. All right. <laughs> <She's gross. laughs> Yes, the discount meat. Hello, my friend. Look at this. Well, all right. Um, you better use that meat soon. The clerk said it expires at midnight. Nonsense! There are no fuzzy eaters at Bullworth. It'll last for a month! I'm done.
Welcome. Please. School rules are quite clear on this subject. Quite clear. No alcohol on school grounds. Uh. You're drunk. Uh -huh. I can smell it on your breath. Uh -huh. I can see it in your eyes. I'm not drunk. Drunk? In charge of children? What kind of monster drinks in front of children? A uh, parent? A disgraceful one, yes. You've got a problem, haven't you? I'm just under a lot of... I'm a kind and supportive colleague, Galloway. And as such, I think it is my duty to get you sacked. Uh, do whatever you want, Hattrick. You always do. The head will find out about this. You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm half drunk, and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic! Oh, I'm a washed-up old drunk, and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet, but nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods! Give me that! Let's get rid of this before you get busted. Oh, that's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do. Looks like Hattrick and Galloway are at it. I can use that. I tell you, he's a drunk. These are very serious allegations, Mr. Hattrick. <laughs> Trying to hide the evidence.
Bullworth one. A teacher had to physically apprehend. I just don't understand the minds of troublemakers. School rules are quite clear on this subject. It looks like Hattrick and Galloway are... Here they are. I think that's all of them. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome, Miz. Please, take this. Another good deed done. Nobody likes to fight it. Hmm, maybe I can use this to my advantage.
Oh, we want blood. He's so authentic Take him out. and real. A fight. Good. That's all there is to it. Hmm, there's a little problem. Your parents have to be members of the board for you to be eligible. Tell you what, old chap. We'll give you that old abandoned beach house. Should be nice once you clean it up. Job well done. Your mom would want you to be in class. You know we can't associate with you until you wear some proper clothes, huh? Hello. You know you should try. Goodbye, and thanks for shopping at Aqua.
Look, there he is! I was... Who needs an education when you... Enjoy your purchase! I'm gonna take you down, my man! Beginning to worry about Gary. Oh. Lick my shoe! That was exciting. Got the eggs, Hopkins? You bet. Then give them to me. Take them. Smashing. Now tell me, Hopkins, is it true you said I was inbred? No, because First Cousins is legal, my friend. Legal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and just because my elder brother doesn't have a chin and ended up in a lunatic asylum, it doesn't mean anything. Whatever, Tad. Your family is your business. Don't lie, Jimmy. You said Tad was probably a hermaphrodite with that much inbreeding. A hermaphro what? Don't act dumb. You said his mom was also legally his aunt and that he probably had webbed toes. I don't. Well, just only on one foot. Tad, you're not gonna take that kind of crap from this scumbag, are you? You've... you... you've been rude about mommy! Let's get this, Papa! Inbred! <sighs> oh well, I guess I must beat you. Lying around. There was never any doubt. I was just looking for one of those. 
Thanks, kid. Okay, now let's train. This was my favorite combination. <laughs> You got some real Jimmy. Don't forget to bring me a transistor when you come back. Nice work, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy Hopkins. Do I know you? No, I'm Pinky, but I know all about you. Everybody's talking about you. Everybody says that you're mean and angry and you like fighting. Huh. Gary said you're so mad because you're sexually confused. Yeah, well, Gary talks a lot of crap. Oh, I know. I don't like him. He likes to torture people. So what? He's not going to torture me. Well, I'm glad you're not sexually confused. Really? Yeah. I like you, Jimmy Hopkins. Oh, yeah? But I need you to do something for me. What a surprise. I'm last in line, and this movie means everything to me. I'm gonna get terrible seats. Can you please get rid of all these people for me? Please, Jimmy? What's in it for me? I'm a princess! Oh. And I need people to do things for me! So hurry up, because I want to be first! Oh, man. All right. Am I really the best? It's just not fair. I don't see why something like this should happen. How's it going? So, are you going to give me something? ¿Sabes qué? you might appreciate them. I swear Thanks, to look Jim! Just like Seriously! You. Thank you! Oh, no! Gross! I'm sure this year will be much better than last. I hope. Jimmy, I mean it. Why is this stuff lying around everywhere? <laughs> I just Not wanna cool. play sports, that's all! <laughs> that's great, Jimmy! If only you'd been born into my social circle. Well, I do have a few uses, you know. Oh, really? Well, you know, nice girls like nice flowers. Anyway, here's some money. It's the least I could do. And it's daddy's anyways. The show's about to start, but come see me sometime. We can work through these class issues we have. Oh, I'll work through your class issues all right, sweetie. Ain't 
ain't no stopping Jimmy Hopkins. So, this is how you treat a girl? Well, not me. What are you talking about? We had a date, and you are three minutes late. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we really didn't. But look, I remembered how much you liked flowers. Oh, damn. That wasn't you. That was Darby. Well, he's late. I cannot believe... The facial they gave me, it ripped my... Where is that crazy chick? Hey, Jimmy! Glad to see you're on time, unlike some of my other dates. What are we waiting for? Let's go have some fun. Hey, wait up! You'll win me a teddy bear, won't you, Jimmy? You must have had a good horoscope today. <laughs> well, looky here. Jimmy Hopkins delivers. Feeling really lucky, huh? You have to have a mean right hook, son. Simple. Don't mind me. Life's been hard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's how a real man looks. That's that nonsense dealt with. Let's see how good your past life was. Stronger than you look. Let's go there. We go. Bear now. Done. How's it going? Here's your trash. <laughs> I mean, prize. Great date, Jimmy. You're such a bad boy, Jimmy. It's very exciting. And done. Hey, Pete. Where is everybody? Oh, Jimmy. It's you. Yeah? Guess you want to kill Gary now that he's turned most of school against you and got those rich kids to throw eggs at you. Gary will get what's coming to him. What's wrong with you? Nothing. 
Well, you're sitting around watching TV by yourself like a loser. Someone crap in your bed? What's wrong? Well, for one moment I had friends. Just one moment. You and Gary. Yeah, Gary's a snake and you're a psychopath. Ah, come you on. You both bullied me mercilessly, but at least I wasn't left out. And now I'm back on my own and I'm too cool to be a dork and I'm too dorky to be anything else. You're not on your own. Where is everybody? At the bike race at Old Bullworth Vale. By shiny bikes at the beach. Bike race? Why didn't you say so? Come on. Stop that right now! You pathetic wretches! <laughs> Don't make me laugh! What's your team called? The Unbound... Job! Sweet win! Come by and see me anytime. I'll have your trophy. I'm good. What can I say? Listen, pal, help a poor desperate fellow. Yeah, you want to get a C-785, then dismantle it and recouple with a 767 in titanium. Very expensive, but it will make your machine fly. That's what the pros do. Really? I was going to get the 976 because I thought it would make me look important amongst my peer group. A 976? What are you, a girl? Oh, here's the kid who won the race. Hey. You came for your trophy, huh? Yep. Here she is. Beautiful. Molded plastic, covered in aluminum wrap, 
with your name misspelled on it. Excellent. Great. Look at this. A bunch of guys whose career aspirations are to work in stores. Fabulous. I love it when people know their place in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, your place in life is in my toilet, you trust fund turd. Do you even have flushing toilets in your trailer? I couldn't imagine it. You guys are a bunch of scumbags, aren't you? What you got? Bring it, come on. Nice trophy. Hey, let me see. Come on, hey, <laughs> give me that back! Chaps. Over one. So big that Chad, you are. I'm gonna break your chain. I'm gonna rip your head. Oh well, I guess I. Job well done. Jimmy, I need... Yard thick. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Think I'm dumb? <laughs> Who's dumb now? I'm dumb, I'm dumb, real dumb! Hey, hey, kid, hey, kid, help me out, please! Easy, Russell! Look at how you drift!
Nice work, Jimmy. Oh, I so wish you didn't do that. Crashing in style. My fighting expertise is lethal. Beat it. Oh, I'm gonna beat the poor out of you. You'll be... So how do I do it, Pete? Do what? Beat those rich kids into submission. Well, what have you... You and me, Biff. You and me what? You and me, the noble art of boxing. May the best man win. And then you little trust fund fairies will know what life is all about. Anytime, Popper. Of course. The best man always wins. Me. Come on. Afterwards? We want blood! Kid just beat up Biff. He's our new champion. What? He's the new champion. Come on. 
Come on, man. Woo! You disgust me. <clears throat> it takes more than victory to become a champion. It takes breeding and nepotism and snobbery. You filthy Democrat. Gentlemen, are we going... You guys soften him up. I'll get a drink. You won't escape me! I'm a fighting machine, you fool. My dad is Fuck going off. to sue you. Wretch, hiding behind your friends. I'm leveraging the assets I have, and you don't. Friends. Just shut up, Darby. Here's some more tactics for you. Poor boy. Do I try not to get this tomorrow. Furniture. I hope no girl saw this. This might come in handy. Give me a hand in here, boys! These guys don't believe in my Well, I suppose I just have to give you a thrashing the old fashioned. Now, I can't hear you, rich kids. Who's the boss now, my waspy little friend? Answer the question. You are. Now, Darby is really stupid, malevolent, and rich. So it will surprise none of you to discover in a future life, he'll end up in Congress. But this is my story, not his. With the trust fund babies under control, it's time to turn my attention to their sworn enemies, those greaseball kids. So, you must be pretty proud of yourself. You taught those rich scum a lesson. They're rich, weak bullies. It was easy. I'll be a virgin until I die. Never, Johnny McNo, friend. 